Blue skies means fun days. Helping skydivers with tips and techniques about safety, training and fun jumping from those who know. Hi and welcome to Blue Skies Fun Days. As a rigger, I'm always curious about new innovations and different approaches to managing challenging situations. One of the more intriguing developments being shown off at the Reno PIA Symposium was the MARD or Main Assisted uh, Reserve Deployment process being offered by Velocity. I had a chat with the owner, Kelly Farrington, about how they developed their approach to making this MARD functional. Initially, I was a little dubious, but as I studied it closer, I could see that there was a lot of genius in its simplicity. It goes way back to when I was a, a teenager, actually, and uh, my aunt and uncle had a drop zone where they were direct bag, doing direct bag static lines for their students, and about half of the reserves were free bag squares, and the other half were rounds at the time. I was playing with toy parachutes and uh, was kind of fascinated with cut, cutaways and stuff like that. And I was like, well, wouldn't the reserve open faster if you static lined the free bag, attached the free bag to the main parachute? And uh, I asked my uncle at the time and he was like, well, yeah, but what happens if you have a total malfunction? I was like, well, I guess you're kind of hosed. Um, and so that kind of ended that idea for a while until I met Mark Hewitt in 1991, who was building the Sorcerer base rig that had a, a MARD, basically the first commercially available MARD, I guess you could say. The reserve was deployed by a pullout handle uh, that was mounted on the shoulder. And they had um, a split RSL lanyard um, that the pullout handle was mounted to. Um, so during a partial malfunction, you would cut away and the RSL lanyards would just take the pullout handle. If you had a total malfunction, you would grab the pullout handle, manually disconnect the, the handle from the RSL lanyards and then pull the pin, pull the reserve pilot sheet out and let it go. And obviously that's not really an applicable system to skydiving. It set in motion that the fact that, hey, this can work, you just need to figure out how to make something that can go one way or go the other. And so I started playing with ideas and uh, had seen early uh, MARD prototypes from Eric Friday and, and Bill Booth and stuff, and uh, just kind of kept playing with my own uh, ideas. And this is a development of basically an evolution of something that I was playing with in probably 1993, 94, sometime around then. Essentially, this is an evolution of that. I, I believe there are 28 jumps um, and it's a combination of cutaways from a stable main cutaways from a main that's spinning to the left to the right forward facing basically belly to earth back to earth um terminal deployments subterminal deployments it's pretty thorough it's actually more than doubled the the addition of a mard more than doubled the the required number of like cutaway test jumps from a system that just had an rsl here we have a, uh, a mock-up display of the, in the inner top flap. The pin cover would cover this. We got a segment of ripcord cable here, RSL snap shackle here. And basically how it works is if you have a total malfunction, you're gonna pull the ripcord cable. We've added this uh, pin rotator pocket right here that's going to make the pin rotate so that the uh, the ripcord cable will come cleanly out of the housing. Um, and the pilot chute's gonna launch. And this MARD doesn't really care which end of the, the bridle the pilot chute or the free bag is on. Um, once the pilot chute launches and catches air, 
that just comes apart with maybe an ounce of force. And if you have a partial malfunction, this snap shackle here is obviously going to be attached to the main riser. We have the, a Collins lanyard to make sure that the left side cutaway cable gets uh, released. And this is going to load the pin lanyard. Pull the pin lanyard out of the pocket. It's going to pull the reserve pin out of the closing loop off of the ripcord housing. The pin's going to jam against the ring on the MARD. And then that's just going to pull the tab and the MARD out from the reserve container. And once this tab is out of the pocket, this is locked onto the reserve bridle. So that we can play tug of war on this thing from any direction and it's not going to release. Now, the only way this w would release uh, prematurely during a partial malfunction is if there was an overload situation and we broke the type 2A loop. If you have a low speed uh, malfunction, say a canopy collision or something like that at uh, a thousand feet or below where you want to just deploy your reserve and uh, get more material out, it takes about that much force for the pilot chute to disconnect the MARD and start deploying the reserve parachute. For the riggers, we have, and the jumper, we have a label sewn to the inside of the pin cover flap that shows how the system should look when it's packed. And for the riggers, we have directions right here on the inside of the pin cover flap, on the inside of the number four flap. The first step is to insert the red tab into the green pocket. So we're gonna push that right in there as far as that'll go. Um, thread the green loop through the grommet. Just like that. And then we're gonna insert the pin through the loop like that and into the pocket and seat that as close to the uh, upper corner here as you can. We stir the bridle like this on these mock-ups. It's a little bit different on the uh, yeah. on the actual rig. And now that's ready to go. There's no hand tacking required, no seal thread or anything. We have three bar tacks in the uh, pin lanyard. So the two bar tacks that are closest to the pin get folded together and inserted into the uh, pin rotating pocket and then put the uh, marine eye or over the RSL pin and into the closing loop and that's it. I'm not saying that this one is better or worse than others but it is certainly worth having a look at. See you next time on Blue Skies Fun Days. For more tips and techniques, click subscribe.